Hello everyone. Welcome to ArcGIS Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform layer stacking or creating a composite image using ArcGIS. For this demonstration, I'll be using the ArcGIS with version 10.8.2. Let us start by importing the bands. Click on this icon. Go to the directory where you have saved your data. Okay, this is the folder where I have stored my data. Please note, this is actually a Landsat 8 derived data. And before I perform layer stacking, let me show you the band description for the Landsat 8. Right, this is the band description for Landsat 8 data. Band 1 is coastal aerosol and the resolution is 30 meters. Band 2 is blue, resolution is once again 30 meters. Band 3 is green, once again 30 meters. In this fashion, you will see that until band 7, which is shortwave infrared 2, the spatial resolution is 30 meters. For this demonstration, I will be using band 1 to band 7 for performing layer stacking. So here in the ArcGIS, I have to now select bands 1 to 7. Okay, so you can see here I have now displayed bands 1 to 7. If you look at the order, I have made sure I have selected in a sequential order. Band 1, 2, 3, 4 till band 7. Now let us start performing layer stacking. At first, you have to go to the Customize menu bar, click on it and click on Extensions. Here, make sure you have checked the Spatial Analyst tool, then click on Close. Once that is done, the Spatial Analyst tools will be added to the ArcGIS. Now, you need to click on this icon, which is Arc Toolbox. The Arc Toolbox will open. Now, let me just fit it somewhere here. Okay. Here in the Arc Toolbox, you need to click on Data Management Tools. Click on the plus icon next to it and the submenu will open. Within the Data Management Tools, click on the raster. Once again, click on the plus icon next to it. Scroll down. Now you need to click on the raster processing. Once again, click on the plus icon. Within the raster processing, you should have composite bands. Double click to open the toolbox and you see the composite bands toolbox is now open. Now here we need to feed the data in the sequential manner. That is I must always select band 1 as the first input then band 2, band 3 and in this fashion till band 7. There is a drop down menu here. When you click on it all the data that is stored in the table of content will be displayed. Select band 1 first. Once again, click on the drop down menu. Select band 2, then band 3, then band 4, and continue in this fashion till band 7. Okay, now you can see I have selected the bands in a sequential order band 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and lastly 7. Once we have fed the bands, we are now supposed to provide the output image name. Click on this folder icon here. Go to the location where you want to store the data. I'll save this file in the same folder where I had stored all of my input bands. I'll call the name of this output file as ls, which stands for layer stack. Please note, RJS by default saves it as a raster data set. Once you are given the name, then click on save. And lastly, you can now click on OK to start the layer stacking operation. You can see that the processing is shown here. Right. Once the processing is done, you will get a notification saying composite bands is successfully done. This right mark here, which is a small green check mark. This indicates that the operation is now successful. Now let us come back to the image that is being created, which is our layer stacked image by the name LS. 
For this image, now I will change the band combination. I'll go for color infrared. So R will be band 5, G will be band 4, and B will be band 3. Right. So this band combination, which is 543, is for color infrared band combination for Landsat 8 imagery. Now let us verify the properties of this layer stacked image. And to do that, right click on the name of the image and select properties. The layer properties window would appear. Here, go to source. And you can now see that the cell size is 30, 30, which indicates that one pixel in this layer stacked image is a 30 cross 30 meter area on the surface of the earth. If you come back and look at the spatial resolution of band 1 to 7, you note that they are all 30. Therefore, the image that we have created, which has a cell size of 30, 30, indicates that the layer stack operation was indeed successful. Well, that is about creating a layer stacked image using ArcGIS. In my next video, I'll demonstrate how to create pan sharpened image using the RGA software. So stay tuned. Well, that is about this video. If you like this video, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on RGIS. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.